Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our back. To start off with, I am going to start with our regular staple stretch, the greatest stretch, holding two seconds at the lowest and the highest points of the stretch. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the video a little bit so that you don't have to waste much of time watching or going through it this bit of it because I hope and I believe that you by now you have already learned how to do this particular stretch if you're still not able to do it at the same pace I am doing it it's absolutely fine you can do it at your own pace one after one one after each side if you feel tired after doing couple of them you can also take a few seconds break in between you can use a yoga mat to get a little bit of cushioning under your knees I prefer to do it on the floor but it's absolutely your choice only thing you have to make sure is that you get a good amount of stretch in your thighs in your upper back your glutes now to do our next regular thing is to deep squat so hinge by pushing your glutes all the way back and once they are at the limit, bend your knees and go into a deep squat and stay there for three to four seconds. Hold your position and then come back up in one single motion without losing balance. Now for my next stretch, which is uh, back specific, I have done this in my earlier video also. I'm going to do a sit down back stretch wherein I sit down on a bench, on a stool, whatever is available for you take a foam roller or any kind of thick you know a bottle also would do fine and hold it with your legs so that your hip stays locked in and then take a long pipe place it on your back with your hands spread out and start rotating on each side with your hips locked in your upper back has to do a lot of stretching to get get through this range of motion so you get a good amount of mobility work done here before we start our back workouts get about five to six repetitions on each side that should be fine enough try to get as much rotation as possible now let's move on to our warm-up exercise for our warm-up exercise i am going to do the Y raises. I have done two sets of it, 12 to 15 repetitions. Uh, on my second set, I also included the W raises just to get a little bit of upper back activation, a, a bit of mid trap activation. We have done this in the previous videos also. Simple lay on an inclined bench and hold, take a couple of lightweight dumbbells. I have taken here two kilo dumbbells. You can also take plates, that's absolutely fine, and start raising them shape of Y or shape of W to get your upper back activated and blood rushing there. While doing this exercise, you will also feel a bit of mid back activation because it's trying to stabilize you as your hands raise up. So that would happen to nothing out of ordinary. 12 to 15 repetitions, two sets and we are good to go for our working sets. If you find any kind of discomfort while doing this exercise, the area of discomfort could be massaged out for, you know, a few seconds to get some relief from the te uh, tension or tightness which has been there. While doing this exercise, try to feel as much as possible your upper back because that's the focus area for today. Now for my first exercise, I'm going to do lat pull downs. Uh, my target here is three sets, eight to 10 repetitions with a above body weight and body weight uh, pulling. If you're unable to pull your body weight as of now, it's absolutely fine. Take a challenging weight and try to get eight repetitions, eight to 10 repetitions. Eight repetitions should be the most challenging part. If you're able to get 10 repetitions, that's really great. So I've done three sets of a very good amount of weight. The motion I try to follow is similar as I leave as I as the as I leave my hands up, I move a bit forward as I bring the bar down, I move a little uh, a bit behind to get an extra amount of contraction in my back. 
Uh, the other cue is to make sure you remember that you are driving the motion with your elbows. Try to get your elbows as far behind as possible. So here for my third set, if you see, I was, I kind of overed it, went a little bit heavy and a bit explosive. So I got tired after my fifth and sixth rep. So I had to take a rest pause technique to finish my reps. So after my sixth rep, I guess, I was unable to pull the bar completely down. So what I did is I just got up, took a few seconds, shake it off and then went back to it and got my two to three repetitions. So if it happens with you, when you take a challenging weight, you can do the same thing. You can take five to 10 seconds off in between, let the blood flow back into your arms and get back to the exercise to finish your repetitions. Now, if you are failing at three to four reps, that means you have taken too much of weight. Five reps is still fine. Now for my next exercise, I tried to do some pull-ups. Um, unfortunately not yet there i was able to get only three to four pull-ups in a set i had to get down after every four pull-ups and then take 10 to 20 seconds and try again on my last set on my second i mean on my third attempt i even used a resistance band to help me out but i was still able to only get four to five repetitions missing out something but i'll get there soon if you can do pull-ups, do three sets of it, 10 repetitions would be the target. For me, I was hitting my max limit at fourth and fifth repetition at my body weight. So for my next exercise, I did chest supported rows. Again, I took a challenging weight. Here in the close-up, you can see how my lat is stretching out way forward at the when the weight is resting. And from there, I pull the weight back as far behind as possible with my elbows going behind me to get that extra amount of contraction on my lats and my mid back. This exercise really fires up your upper back entirely and creates an extraordinary stretch for your lats. Make sure you take a neutral grip. I initially tried to change the grip but it, I wasn't feeling comfortable so I switched back to neutral grip. It could be the, you know, I was not able to set well with my, or the equipment which I have at my disposal. But if you're doing it with dumbbells, like we used to do earlier on an inclined bench, the grip is already quite neutral. And you remember the cue, you try to pull the dumbbells towards your hips and flare your elbows out as much as possible. Great exercise for your upper back and also builds a lot of strength, pulling strength. And we are done, last rep. I was taking about 60 seconds break in between all, uh, every exercise because I was, I was a bit tired. So for my next exercise, I'm going to do the calf raises as usual, donkey calf raises, two sets, as many repetitions as possible with body weight. By now I was feeling a bit stronger in my calves also i was getting better contractions today before ending my uh, ending my repetitions i used a eccentric hold to get a bit of stretch in my calf because i felt a bit of tightness from the last leg workout in my calf muscles so i used a bit of stretch to make sure i release the tension from all the calf raises And that's the hold, hold for 5 to 10 seconds before dropping off. So for my last exercise, I'm going to do single hand uh, dumbbell or kettlebell pulls. So here I don't like to take a stance on the bench. I like my both my feet grounded and I also like to keep one foot on my pulling hand side a little bit back so that I can pull the kettlebell or the dumbbell far behind my back up to my hips and flare out my elbows as much as possible to get maximum amount of lat movement in terms of both stretch and contraction. I also get a little bit of rotation involved to get that exaggeration of contraction. You can do it in a strict pose, but I like this pose. As you can see how I do it here, I take my pulling hand 
side leg a bit back so I get that extra amount of space to pull the uh, weight towards my hips and push my elbow as far behind as possible and as, if, and as I stretch out I try to exaggerate the stretch as much as possible to give my lat that extra bit of room to stretch out I've done two sets of it each side going up to 12 to 15 repetitions I chose a weight which is about 16 kilos you can go heavier if you want to you can use straps and gloves to get a bit more out of it if you think your grip strength is going to compromise the number of repetitions you can get if you don't have a kettlebell I recommend using this stance because dumbbell might knock onto your knees in this particular stance so keeping one leg a bit behind to get the dumbbell all the way to your hips is advisable and take support of a bench or like I'm doing here the rod with on a smith machine to support your other arm I try to be as explosive as possible and I also try to exaggerate the stretch as much as possible keeping the load on my upper back only and that's it we are done with our exercises thank you so much for joining me I know today's workout isn't so intense as I liked it to be but it's one of those days where I had to take it a bit light but if you did like the workout please do drop a like if you have any feedback please do drop a comment if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel I would request you to subscribe it gives me a lot of positive feedback and to finish off my day I'm doing the static stretches which I have done earlier to my upper lat uh, my upper back and my lat static stretch take a support place your hand on it and twist onto your sides and start dropping the weight on one side feeling that stretch in your upper back and in your lat hold there for 15 to 20 seconds do it couple of times to you know release the tension and let your lat come out or pop out completely not literally but just come out and regain its neutral length after all those contractions we have put it through if you feel any bit of tension in your lower back you know you can also go back to one of my videos we have done a lower back stretch especially my static stretches video we have done multiple back stretches for you to you know do and practice but otherwise thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you in my next video, thank you.